This is the birthplace of air superiority. Today, we go inside the Russian factory building the ultimate fifth generation It starts not with steel, but with high strength titanium. This is the lightweight load bearing back. This is the structural core. Titanium milled to micro precision is key for the jet's strength and lightness. For stealth and speed, the structural skin is mostly this advanced carbon fiber composite, our primary outer material. Each ply is laid by hand and verified. Any wrinkle or air bubble must be eliminated before the high pressure heat curing begins. The mold must be spotless. Any contamination on this dark gray steel surface will compromise the structural integrity and the jet's stealth. Inside this massive autoclave, intense heat and pressure fuse the composite layers. This is where the jet's stealthy- It starts with strength. The core of the airframe, the main load-bearing titanium spine, is carved from a single- The stealth shaping starts here. The laser follows a digital plan, ensuring zero margin for error on the complex curves. Engine efficiency is defined by its components. These turbine blades are robotically polished down to the micron level. The control lines are the lifeblood of the jet. These high-pressure hydraulic lines must be fabricated with zero The canopy is formed from a single, massive sheet of acrylic. It must be perfectly shaped and optically The nose radome is the shield for the radar. It's built from specialized material that is transparent to radar waves, but structurally robust. A mechanism that enables super maneuverability. Each actuator is hand-assembled to ensure the lightning-fast response required for thrust vectoring. The final electronic check. Every circuit board that runs the jet's brain is individually tested to guarantee the system is flawless under combat conditions. The pilot's last chance. The ejection seat frame is welded to extreme standards, as it must withstand the shock of explosive acceleration. The main landing gear endures extreme impact. It begins here, where a colossal press shapes a- The wing must be flawless. Automated welding guarantees a consistent, high-strength join across the entire titanium wing spar structure. The final physical instrument is checked. The pitot tube is subjected to precise airflow to calibrate its readings, a crucial step for flight safety. The internal weapons bay requires incredibly robust and precise rails. These must hold high-speed missiles securely against extreme G-forces. This is the first major structure. The perfect, rigid composite skin is ready for assembly. Automated laser welding fuses the titanium spine, the rigid core that holds the entire 30-ton jet together. The primary structural titanium component that contains miles of wiring. Each cable is meticulously secured to prevent chafing and failure under extreme flight stress. This frame will hold the primary radar array. Its exact angular alignment is critical for the jet's sensor fusion capabilities. This high-pressure hydraulic power unit is the heartbeat of the flight controls, ensuring instant movement of all control surfaces. This titanium frame provides the anchor for the Felon's powerful radar array. Its alignment is critical for the jet's electronic vision. This main landing gear strut must handle immense force. It's lowered into place and aligned to the jet's central titanium spine. The gear is immediately tested. A powerful hydraulic system ensures it extends and retracts instantly. The two primary halves of the forward fuselage are now brought together. This requires absolute hydraulic precision to align the central seam. This specialized paste is the key to stealth. It must be perfectly mixed to fill every seam and gap, eliminating any potential radar reflection. This is the true stealth secret. The ram paste is applied to eliminate gaps, preventing radar energy from reflecting off the inner structure. Flight control hinges on instant, immense power. These bright yellow hydraulic lines carry the high-pressure fluid needed for immediate- Dozens of high-strength titanium fasteners are installed along the seam. The integrity of this central joint is vital for the jet's G-force tolerance. Every fastener on the intake duct must be perfectly seated and torqued to withstand the immense suction forces generated by the engine. The entire arsenal must be carried internally to maintain the lowest radar cross-section. This frame defines the primary weapon bays. This multi-axis hinge mechanism is a masterpiece of compact engineering.
This multi-axis hinge mechanism is a masterpiece of compact engineering. It must open and close the heavy weapon bay door. A hallmark of fifth gen fighters. Two internal bays here, ready to house its entire arsenal, fully concealed until the moment of attack. Each of these diamond shaped tiles is hand placed. This dull coating absorbs radar energy, ensuring the jet is practically a ghost on enemy screens. The radar frame alignment must be perfect. If this is off by a millimeter, the entire sensor fusion system will fail. The canopy frame is titanium. This massive wing is lowered with laser precision. The final fit must be perfect to handle the immense G-forces during aggressive maneuvers. Each titanium bulkhead is a load-bearing partition, providing structural rigidity and defining the boundaries of the internal fuel and hydraulic systems. Every structural pin is torqued to specific standards. This joint must hold against the immense G-forces the felon can pull. The wing structures themselves are the fuel tanks. This orange-red sealant is chemically resistant and vital for preventing leakage under extreme G-force loads. The wing root joint is the most critical on the jet. It has to be surgically clean and perfect to handle the immense G-forces during extreme aerobatics. These slats are critical for high alpha maneuvering. They are tubering. The IT electronic support pod listens for and identifies enemy radar, giving the pilot critical warning and intelligence gathering capabilities. The S-shaped air intakes are key to stealth. They ensure that radar waves can never penetrate to see the reflective engine compressor blades. Quality control is absolute. Every square inch of the composite is scanned to ensure zero internal voids. The central skeleton is complete. The jet is structurally sound and the massive internal jigs can now be removed. The wing is a single, integrated piece of carbon composite, light, strong, and optimized for high-G maneuvering. The primary controls are installed. The side stick and throttle connect directly to the main flight computer, a fly-by-wire system, ensuring lightning-fast response. The pilot's ultimate lifeline, the K36D5 ejection seat. It must be maneuvered with extreme care into the cockpit. This high-tech seat is lowered onto specialized rails. The alignment must be perfect for instant, safe ejection at any speed. This high-tech seat is lowered onto specialized rails. The alignment must be perfect for instant. These hydraulic actuators are calibrated to move the control surfaces instantly, translating pilot movement into precise, high-G flight maneuvers. Connecting the high-pressure hydraulics. These bright yellow lines carry the fluid that powers the rudder's instant, forceful movement. This is a high-stress joint. The automated torque wrench ensures every titanium bolt is precisely tight. The left horizontal stabilizer is attached. This provides pitch control and contributing significantly to the jet's high angle of attack maneuvering. This is a high-stress joint. The automated torque wrench ensures every titanium bolt is precisely tightened. These slats are critical for high alpha maneuvering. They extend automatically to give the pilot extra lift and control at low speeds. This electronic support pod listens for and identifies enemy radar, giving the pilot critical warning and intelligence gathering capabilities. The auxiliary power unit provides self-starting power when the jet is away from ground support. It is essential for field operations. This ceramic sealant is critical. It must withstand extreme heat from the APU exhaust to protect the the housing for the refueling probe is now installed this structure allows the jet to take on fuel mid-air the final horizontal stabilizer is secured both rear wings provide pitch control and contribute to the jet's incredible high alpha maneuvering the entire tail section is complete with the installation of the control surfaces every angled fin and stabilizer is now the control surfaces are massive this stabilizer gives the pilot incredible authority making those high angle of attack maneuvers possible. Initial radar cross-section tests are performed right on the assembly line. We use this temporary array to detect any structural flaws that could compromise stealth. This is the core of the Felon's stealth. The ram paste fills every gap, preventing radar energy from reflecting off the inner structure. Every actuator is checked for smooth, silent operation. Any friction here translates directly into vibration and noise during high-speed flight. We are testing the full range of motion. These huge control surfaces. The fuselage is sealed. The airframe is structurally sound and the stealth shell is complete. Ready now for the high-tech interior. The heart of the human machine interface. This single massive display gives the pilot total command of the battle space. 
The heads-up display projects all vital flight information onto the canopy, ensuring the pilot never has to look down. Connecting the nervous system. These bright orange fiber optic cables ensure lightning fast command transmission from the pilot to the actuators. This is the brain center. One massive screen gives the pilot total command, fusing all data from the jet's massive sensor array. The side arrays give the Felon 360 degree radar coverage. They are installed perfectly flush to ensure the stealth shaping remains unbroken. This seat is a self-contained rocket, a life-saving mechanism that must be perfectly wired. Every connection is verified before final closure. This metallic film coating is crucial. It blocks radar waves from penetrating the cockpit and reflecting off the pilot's helmet. Yes, settle. This metallic film coating is crucial. It blocks radar waves from penetrating the cockpit and reflecting off the pilot's helmet and in The seal is now airtight. Once the canopy is closed and locked, the pilot is protected from the vacuum and heat of Infrared sensors allow the felon to see targets without transmitting radar, maintaining passive stealth, a crucial advantage. The jet is looking in every direction. It's an electronic ghost, watching every square mile of air simultaneously. The temporary towing arms are attached. The jet is now ready to be moved out of the assembly jig and onto the final engine installation ramp. The pitot tube must be perfectly aligned to provide the precise airspeed data crucial for the jet's fly-by-wire flight computers. Last protective details before the final major component is introduced. This bright blue tape protects the vital sensor ports and internal wiring during the heavy engine drop. This huge space is waiting for the Saturn 30, the new engine that defines the Felon's power. Next, we lift and secure the heart of the jet. This is the core of the Felon's agility. The three-dimensional thrust fairing gives the Su-57 unmatched maneuverability that no- The second engine is now guided into position. This process is repeated precisely to ensure perfect power balance and thrust alignment. The second vectoring nozzle is now secured. With this step, the twin-engine propulsion system is complete and structurally ready. We now test the hydraulic integrity. This ensures the fluid system can handle the high g-force demands of the rudder movement without failure. The dual engines are installed and secured. Next, we connect the main power and run the initial diagnostics before the first power on sequence. The structure is complete. Now the final transformation begins as the jet moves into the field paint hanger for its final multi-layer stealth coating. The jet must be surgically clean. We remove all contaminants and oils before the final stealth coating is applied to ensure perfect adhesion. This is the final aesthetic and stealth layer. The robotic arm ensures the coating thickness is consistent across the entire surface. This coating isn't just paint. It's a multi-layer composite that absorbs radar energy, the final step in making the jet a true ghost on the enemy radar. The pitot tube must be perfectly aligned to provide the precise airspeed data crucial for the jet's fly-by-wire flight computers. Final lighting systems are installed. These LED taxi lights ensure the pilot has perfect visibility during nighttime ground operations. The last safety pin is removed. This arms the seat's pyrotechnic charges, the final critical step before the pilot is cleared for flight. The factory floor is now silent. The massive machine is complete. All that remains is the test pilot and the final sign-off. The felon leaves the factory floor. It is towed onto the tarmac, where it will undergo its final checks and meet its test pilot. The moment of truth. The highly experienced test pilot arrives to take the felon airborne for the first time. The is complete. The massive, stealth-coated canopy locks into place. The pilot is now- First power. The massive Saturn turbofans ignite, ready to deliver immense thrust. This is the- All systems green. The first operational checks are complete. After months of assembly, the Su-57 is- 57 leaves the ground with explosive power, the first flight of a machine engineered to redefine air superiority. Vertical power. The thrust to weight ratio allows the jet to climb straight up, using its incredible thrust vectoring for total control. Flight complete. The jet is returned to Earth. The successful first flight confirms the success of the millions of hours of engineering and assembly. That's the Su-57. I'll see you next time. Please, subscribe.